Hey guys, after a number of weeks using the Surface Pro 4, I'm going to share with you guys the good, the bad, and indeed, maybe the ugly. So stay tuned. So when I was looking for a powerful device that was portable, light, was running on Windows, there really was only one device you could go for, and that's the Surface Pro. Now obviously this is not an unboxing video because there's plenty of those you can go and have a look. But what I will tell you is what you get in the box. And you get obviously the device itself, the charger, and the pen. And that presents a problem right off from the get-go. This is a laptop replacement. Mm, no keyboard. Okay, Microsoft's got a solution for that, which is the type cover setting you back another 130 pounds. Not a good start, Microsoft. But if you look past that, the device itself is premium. I mean, the hinge itself gives you infinite adjust adjustability and is sturdy. Uh, it's made out of a unibody titanium, I believe it is. It's got five megapixel camera at the front, eight megapixel camera at the back. If you follow the device around, you'll have display port on one side, H, um, not HDMI, USB 3.0. Uh, the charge port, which actually this is quite handy because this is where everything gets beamed down in terms of external monitors and stuff like that. And tucked underneath this, I almost missed it, there is a micro SD card. But using the device on a daily basis is uh, a pleasure really, to be fair. But is it powerful enough to replace your laptop, but yet portable enough as a tablet? and should you buy one so basically let's have a look at these two scenarios one as a home user you'll be using it mainly as a, as a tablet and it works great windows is not the best when you're comparing it to an ipad because the ipad is just about touch and it works better than nothing so if you're just going to be doing light browsing very minimal word processing i would be tempted to go for an ipad but now if you want to use it as a laptop or maybe even as a desktop replacement is powerful enough it's got an i7 this particular model's got an i7 uh, 8 gig ram and 256 gig ssd they are top specs so this is powerful enough for you to do 4k editing uh, of video footage it will struggle a little bit but you'll do it some light gaming some of the latest titles will play on low settings um, although this is not a gaming machine obviously uh, if you want more game oriented type of fun as a home user, again, unfortunately, the iPad will probably be the one for you. But this is where it gets a little bit complicated in the second scenario, where if you are a business user and you need to run more devices out of it, it's a little bit restricting with a single USB port and a single display port. So Microsoft's answer for that is the dock. And this is where I get really, really, really annoyed because I actually have got a dock that I use on a daily basis. And Microsoft, sort yourself out, it's just rubbish, it really is. My two monitors that I have externally, sometimes work, sometimes don't. My USB mouse, sometimes does work, sometimes it doesn't. Um, the Surface half of the time doesn't know that, that the thing is plugged in or not. Um, and I have no way of resetting it. And it sets you back another 150 pounds. Now, if you look at the total of this device, we are looking at this particular model, 1,200 pounds, 130 pounds for the type cover, which you will need, okay, because this is a laptop replacement. You will need if you want to do any work processing because the on-screen keyboard is just, is great, but it's, it's not the same as typing on an actual keyboard. And um, if you're using it as a business, you're gonna to need to run more than one monitor because this is a little bit too small for you to be working on a daily basis. So Microsoft, this is expensive. However, I want to touch really quickly on the type cover itself though, because I actually do think that this is something where Apple could really learn from Microsoft. Full keyboard, the trackpad, which does multi-gesture. Ergonomically, it's fine. Obviously, um, if you're someone does touch typing, this is probably gonna feel a little cramped, but you can do it. Um, it's magnetic, so it attaches. Very nice. But aesthetically, I just wanted to touch again on the aesthetics of the actual device itself. Beautiful, 
love it, but it's not without its faults. So for the final wrap up, Microsoft, well done on the design, you're constantly improving on it. You're so close to making the perfect device, but let's do something on the next one. Bundle the type cover as opposed to, albeit great, pen, I've barely used it. And I really, if I can pick this up, just can't get enough of doing this. It's just so satisfying.